All right, shalom, shalom. Uh, good afternoon, by the way. It's here while well, uh, out doing some errands. And, you know, just something just crossed my mind. I was watching a video uh, that actually Pastor Dow did. Uh, he did a couple of videos talking about, you know, community, started, you know, talking about, you know, sacrifice. Uh, and, you know, it's just amazing today. One of the things that we are having a serious problem in uh, in society today, and especially amongst, especially our people, is this entitlement mentality. And, you know, he was basically talking about how when he first moved, uh, and he's told this story numerous times, about the rough conditions he had to endure, his, his wife and his children had to endure when they first moved uh, on the land. Uh, how they washed, how they, how they went to the bathroom. And he had to endure that for many years. And anybody that has moved on a piece of property uh, and has had to put in any kind of level of work or development, we've all had to essentially go through the same thing. Uh, various degrees of of difficulty where you know we didn't have running water uh where we had to use compost and toilets uh, and it was very difficult uh but you know as we worked hard to develop the infrastructure and still continue to develop the infrastructure we were able to put in these modern day conveniences uh, but it's amazing right uh the sentiment has been put out that being that those of us who have made the sacrifice and has now been able to transition into uh, more comfortable uh, living conditions for the lack of a better term because you know what I mean try and split some wood and, and keeping that, that 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 heat going in the winter time uh, and, and I tell you man it's 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 some work. But the sentiment has been put out that being that he has gone through these things, no one else should have to endure that because he's going through it. See, this is the mindset of people that have never built anything, have never sacrificed anything has never created anything or put in any kind of work for the betterment of themselves, let alone anyone else. It's amazing that, because see, this is the sentiment that's being put out there. And so therefore, then you have people that listen to this stuff and say, wow, ain't that true? See, the idea is that these people, uh, they firmly believe in their heart of hearts that they shouldn't have to endure anything that you have endured, that you have somehow paved the way for them to live a better life off the back of your hard work. See, this is the essence of an entitlement mentality. Um, people don't want to build. People don't want to create. People don't want to get up and make the sacrifices that you make that you've made in the past, but they want all the spoils. They want all of the benefits. See, the only people that are entitled, and, and in essence, really, they're not entitled to it, uh, is my own children, my own sons. And in essence, really, they're not entitled to it. But we know that it is in the spirit of man to create a better life for his children. Now, we can create a better life for our brother. However, they too have to put in the work. You see the difference between the two? See, I want to make sure that, you know, my child doesn't have to endure what I've had to endure because that's my lineage. That's my seed. Uh, that, that right is passed down to my children. But that's not passed across to my brother or even my friend just because they're my brother my friend that they shouldn't have to endure any kind of 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 hard work see and, and see this is 
why it's so important to test, prove, and try people. Because you got people out there that uh, they may want to be your friend or claim to be your friend, but they don't want to go through any kind of trials and tribulations that you've had to go through. They want to elevate and live a better life off your back. And they don't want to endure anything. They feel they have an entitlement mentality. Um, uh, they feel as though uh, just because you put in the work that they are entitled to your hard work. When I didn't put seed in the woman to birth them, no, I didn't. See, this is all about the proper order and perspective of things. And it's pretty sad. Um, and again, the biggest challenges that I've had with people in the past is people that put no skin in the game. They, 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 they haven't put in any serious work. They ain't got no kind of real uh, uh, investment in it. Those are the people that you're going to have the most difficult and challenging times from. They, they, you know, you know, especially women, they come in and they expect um, uh, that they're entitled to all your resources off the back. They don't want to sacrifice anything. And they come in and they feel as though that they're doing you a favor, that you're blessing them. And that they feel as though they should come and, 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 and enjoy all of the fruits of your labor without putting any work or sacrifices, it's sad. It really is sad. But this is what we have here. Uh, uh, we have an entitlement mentality. Uh, we have a, 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 a people, just like the people that came out of Mizraim uh, and was out reveling as Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments and he came down and he saw the people doing all types of lasciviousness and idolatry. I tell you, it's the same spirit, uh, this entitlement mentality where you can give somebody something, but if they haven't earned it, uh, they're not going to appreciate and respect it. They're not going to at all. This is why it's so important for people to have a good hard work ethic and be willing to sacrifice and learn and go through the trenches. I tell you, man, you know, I tell a story of, of how I started in carpentry and there's very few people that would have endured that level of, 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 of persecution, scrutiny. Uh, it, it, I'm telling you, man, it's just rare. Uh, in this day and age that you find that level and character of people that's willing to uh, sacrifice and endure uh, for months and years uh, in order to get a skill set. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's a, you know, it's a blessed to be able to secure a client that a uh, hundred thousand dollar client. Isn't that beautiful? But it's amazing how no one was there when I was in the trenches. But you got folk out there today that, that they'd be more than and happy to come in now and reap all the benefits without sacrificing or producing nothing themselves. <sighs> it's sad. It really is sad. But with anything, you're going to have to carry your own cross. You're going to have to pick up your own weight. You're going to have to prove uh, to those who have already put in the work that you are a man, a woman of honor and integrity, that you got the same grit, that you have the same backbone, that you have the same work ethic, uh, that those of us who have come before and have put in the work and continue to put in the work, uh, there's nothing that I'm going to say against a person uh, that has put in uh, a degree of work and I've said it, I've said it once, I said it, <laughs> I'll say it a, a dozen more times. I haven't done a tenth of the work that Pastor Dow has done. And I'll put in some major work. That's a big state. That's a bold statement. That's a big statement right there. And I'm a hardworking man. But I can respect someone that has put in the work uh, 
and as willing to uh, enjoy the fruits of his labor. Nothing I can say against anybody uh, that's put in that level of work, but there's people that haven't even put in a tenth, a fifth of the work, but will pass judgment. It's amazing. It really, it, it really is amazing, but this is the hour that we're living in. But y'all stay blessed. There's nothing that you're going to get. Um, there's nothing in life that's free. It is going to come as a direct result of hard work. Uh, don't think that you're going to uh, get an increase off the backs of someone else's hard work. Uh, yeah, sure. A rising tide lifts all ships. But you got to keep your own engine rolling. Good. Well maintained. You got to make sure that there's no holes in your ship. Uh, so that we all may prosper. And that takes work. It takes work.